Welcome back to Character Modeling. In this lesson, we're going to create a project folder as well as set up our image planes of the front and side view. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is come under File to the Project window. And this is how you're going to start off any new project in Maya. You're going to set up a project folder. And this is where the, all the information and data, as well as uh, source images, which will include our uh, image planes, are going to be stored. And this way, Maya will know where to find this information uh, when you're working in that particular project. You will set your project each time you start Maya up. And that way, it will be able to find everything that it needs for that particular scene. OK, so we're going to say uh, under current projects, right now it's just set up as default. We want to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Geek Model. And I'm going to put the location into my documents, Maya Projects folder. You may want to set up a different folder depending on where you're working. If you're on your home system, this is probably the best place for it. This is the default area for projects in Maya. If you're working on a computer that's not yours in a lab of some sort, uh, you might want to save it on the desktop or a external hard drive. So go ahead and select the location through here. Okay. These are all the folders that are going to be created. And I'm just going to hit Accept. And out here, we can see that. There it is right there. These are my other projects I have. So there's my Geek Model. If I go in there, those are all the folders that were created by Maya. I'm going to come into my Source Images directory. And I'm just pasting in uh, the front and side views of our character close that down. So now when I go and I set up my image planes and uh, I have my, my project set, which is the next thing to do here, select the main folder there, Geek Model, and just hit Set. So that's now set up. And if I come under my four panel view here, just hitting the space bar, I'm going to start with my front view. And under View, down at Image Planes, I'm going to say Import Image. It's going to take me right out to that directory under the Source Images, because it knows that that's where the uh, image planes are typically stored. I'm going to select the front one, hit Open. Do the same thing here on the Side View. Under Image Plane, I'm going to import the image. Grab the side one. We'll see them right there. And we still need to set these up. I'm going to push them back as well as raise them up. I want the feet here on the ground plane. So I'm going to start over here, opening up the attribute editor. I come under the image plane shape and scroll down to the bottom here. This is where I can adjust the settings. So this is X, Y, and Z. I want to raise it up. So I'm just going to click in there. I'm going to hold down the control key and with the middle mouse button, I can just click and drag. I'm looking at it here my front panel, and 14.6 uh, seems to work. This is Z right here. I'm going to go ahead and push it back in Z to about negative 10. Just round that off to negative 10. So you can see up here in my window, I've pushed it back out of the way. I don't want my image planes intersecting when I'm modeling. And we can see right here, uh, needs to lower just a little bit. So I'm to the Y view. And bring that down. So 14 point, we'll say 14.5. Okay. Let's do the same thing for our front view now. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to open up the attributes for the side view now and do the same thing. So we should be able to put in 14.5. And we'll just check that in a moment. We're going to push it back in X now, so I'll put a negative 10 in there. And we can see that up here now. And it is resting on the bottom the same way. OK. So we've got our image plane set up. So you can either put these on a display layer, if you'd like, just selecting them. Often what I do is I just come under and turn off cameras for my perspective camera, and it gets rid of them. 
I don't have to worry about them or other cameras showing up in my view. And then I can just work out of my front and side view setting up and uh, blocking out the character. Okay, so that completes this lesson for setting up image planes. In the next one, we're going to begin building the body, uh, starting with the torso, and we'll do that in the next lesson.